Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Dr. Blanca Pulido, head of Quepris, the state's commission for the prevention of sanitary risks, confirmed that fishing tournaments have been included in the activities allowed at the current alert level in Baja California Sur, as long as they comply with the established protocols, which change the way that they are conducted, eliminating all social gatherings associated to this type of events. Fishing tournaments have been listed in the fishing-related activities that the state's health committee allows. All tournaments have to be conducted following the new social distancing and sanitary guidelines that health authorities have established, said Dr. Pulido, who also mentioned that Quepris has requested port authorities to verify that all nautical activity service providers carry their commitment letter, which is issued in the coronavirus website, and added that those service providers who fail to produce said letter will not be allowed to operate. The head of Quepris added that health authorities have requested to eliminate the activities that call for social gatherings and that while small groups can get together as a result of these fishing tournaments, large groups will not be allowed. On a related note, the 2020 Bisbee's East Cape Offshore Tournament has been a success with 72 registered teams and a purse of $1.1 million. René Hernández, head of regional services for the Ministry of Education, confirmed that in Baja California Sur, the return to school will be this coming August 24, and it will be through virtual classes, since the federal authorities have stated that students will not be able to return to their classrooms until the stoplight system is in green. Hernández mentioned that while some schools may continue to use Zoom, Google Meetings, Facebook, and other digital platforms, public schools will also use OpenTV as a way to to reach students without internet access.